Good morning, Portland, day three. Let's go. So after lunch, we had the park blocks. As you can see on the maps, it spanned across about 11 blocks so in the middle of the city. Which is really nice so you can get to sit here and do nothing except enjoy the nature. If you want to take a break from the city, this is the perfect place to go. It's very nice, very quiet. So here we are at the Rose Garden. This place is over 100 years old and it has about 10,000 rose bushes and over 600 varieties. So you're not gonna get bored. This is only a small portion of it and this place is huge. Look at the back, all the way over there. It's actually on the other side of these trees there are another whole giant section of roses. This place is amazing and also with jazz this is very romantic finish the rose garden and summertime is when all the roses are blooming so June or July will be the best time to visit here we are at the Pittick mansion it was built over a hundred years ago for an entrepreneur Henry Pittick and since it's a mansion everything that you see is very decorative Victorian but of course it's a mansion so you almost need that excessive amount of decoration the ornament to carry out the soul of that mansion isn't it So they have 44 rooms in total, which including bathrooms, but they only have four bathrooms in total, which is a little surprising to me. And there's no bathrooms on the main floor level. Hmm. Oh, look at the 
Sterling. It perfectly matches the window. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. This is the mansion. Right next to it, there's a viewport that you can go to. Let's see what it looks like. So here are my two conclusions. Number one, if you want a mansion, you have to be an entrepreneur. Number two, come for the mansion. If not, come for the viewport. So what happened was that my battery was dead. So I have to go back to the hotel, charge it, and here we go. We got a Tesla Uber. Hi. That he was basically better than a salesman. Welcome to Tesla. Yeah. Guess how much that would cost in electricity on the Tesla supercharger station cameras up here can read the painted lane and also sonar can pick up the concrete, radar can pick up. And we went to the Voodoo Donut. Josh has an excellent comment on that. Let's turn to Josh. Voodoo Donuts are pretty solid. They put lots of just random like candies or cereals or icings on all their donuts versus Blue Star, which is more... Uh, more thoughtful. More, more thoughtful, <laughs> a little more gourmet, kind of classy vibe going on. But in my opinion, both are good. Yeah, try both. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below, like, subscribe, share, especially for Charlie's awesome jumping jack. And stay tuned for day four. See you later. Cheers.